why do older men, like old, old, purposely seek out 20 year olds? Like, I know age ain't nothing but a number. I had to pause. So I just realized who broke that song. But it's like, what you, a 50 year old, gonna do with a 25 year old? Y'all two decade and a half apart. Like, Welcome or welcome back to my channel. What are your thoughts on age gap relationships? That is the topic of today's video. Is it different when an older man dates a younger woman from when an older woman dates a younger man? If you have experience on this topic, share your thoughts in the comments below. You want to know why much older men go after women that are 10 to 20 years younger than them? There's a couple of different reasons really, but the key points to take away Older men go after younger women because it's a power move. They believe that younger women are going to view them as more dominant because of their age, and that's going to correlate with them getting away with more bad behaviors and less accountability. She is not in a position, because of age, to tell him what he can and can't do. That's what these guys think. Secondly, they think that the younger women are more susceptible because of that maturity difference that they believe is real, they're more susceptible to the manipulation because maybe they haven't been around to see it, right? Maybe they haven't experienced it and they can pull one over on you. The third reason why older men go after younger women is to keep them youthful. Because whenever you have a man who has lived an entire life of manipulation and he sees the horizon of his life, and you can be much older, can be a 50 and a 20 year old, a 70 and a 40 year old, when he knows that he can physically no longer keep up, he's going to try to make that last push to manipulate and to get away with as much as he can and to be with as many women as possible. If these guys are not tied down to one woman, they are going to try to get everything out of their system so they have no regrets. Most men who manipulate women to this degree fear regret more than anything. There's never going to be enough women. There's never going to be enough manipulation. And at the end of the day, they have absolutely nothing to show for their lives except for loneliness and misery. When the women started saying that we need men to change, some of the men decided they were going to go younger. They're 40 years old, talking about the youngest they'll go is 18. They started going overseas, started grabbing their passports, passport bros. Some of these men will do anything but change. But the funny thing about it is women all over of all races, ages, nationalities, they all are changing and they're evolving. The women overseas were like, don't come over here with that, because if you come over here, we want you to take care of us, too. The younger women, which makes me so proud because I have three daughters. The younger women are also saying, um, you're not coming over here and taking advantage of me. The only reason why I would want somebody of your age as a 20 year old and you're 45 is because you're going to have some kind of financial stability. You can't use women the way that you want to. You're going to have to change. You call older women or women who've been through some things bitter. When we try to warn the younger women, it's because we see the red flags. We've been where they are. They don't have to burn their hand on the hot stove when we can warn them that stove is hot. If that man is treating you like this as a boyfriend, he's going to do the same thing as a husband. If that man thinks he's babysitting his own child as a boyfriend, he's only going to get worse when you get married to him. If that man is trying to control how you dress or where you go or who you could be friends with, that man is going to be controlling. If that man weaponizes his incompetence as a boyfriend, he's only going to get worse when you get married to him and you are going to get tired of feeling like you have to do everything we see the red flags we see the warning signs and we're warning these women that's why y'all want us to be quiet you quick to call somebody bitter quick to say and that's why you're single so a woman who has standards that's why she's single listen to yourself like you don't hear yourself she's single because she has standards good for her <laughs> like people say that the same thing to me they say oh that's why i'm single i've been married for 19 years I don't even have a dog in this fight, but I'm not going to sit by and uh, allow young women to make the same mistakes when we, they can be warned, when we can show them the red flags. Telling a woman, and that's why you're single, is not the diss you think it is. Why does society have such a problem with age gap dating? Whether it's an older woman dating a younger man or an older man dating a younger woman. A couple of weeks ago, I had an Uber driver, Clarence. And Clarence loved younger women. Clarence was probably in his 70s 
and he enjoyed the company of an 18 year old. So I said Clarence, thinking his reasons are probably gonna be pretty similar to mine as to why I enjoy dating younger men. Clarence, why do you like dating younger? And he said two reasons. Number one, I like fussing with them. Okay, I get that. Number two, he said, they do what I tell them to do. Now, in my 5,000 reasons for enjoying the company of younger men, never would those words come out of my mouth unless somebody was cleaning uh, my pool or fixing my toilet. I would never say that. It would never even cross my mind because I had control or manipulation over someone and they would just do what I told them to do without questioning or giving me a hard time. No. And it was in that moment that I realized this. This is why people have such a problem with age gap dating. And also, society projects that reason onto women as to why women also enjoy dating younger men. And the reasons are 1000% different. The older I get, the more I realize why older men date women that are significantly younger than them. And only because the women their age would never, ever even glance at them twice. Because now there are men my age that try to approach me and I have to actively withhold the urge to spit on them. But younger me would have just died over them. And it was for stupid reasons like, oh my god, he's so cool and mature. He has his own apartment. He should, he's 30. I just thought that was such a sign of maturity and being like a real grown up. But those men were creme de la piss, okay? Like cream of the turds. Just very unimpressive, but I thought that them having like, you know, good jobs was a sign of them being real adults and they were just little immature baby boys. So yeah, those men are almost always losers. Still think it's gross, but now I, I, I see the logic. So I'm 23 and the guy that I'm dating is 42. And yeah, let that sink in, whatever. If knowledge, wisdom, and experience meant you couldn't be manipulated, then nobody in the world would get manipulated. If it was that easy to say, I've been through things and I know this and that, then nobody in the world would be able to be manipulated. Manipulation is manipulation because it goes undetected. No matter how old you are, no matter what you've been through, no matter who you are, your knowledge and intelligence doesn't like deter you from being manipulated emotionally. But the moral of the story is you guys need to run from these old ass men who want to date younger girls. Even I experienced a five year age gap and I truly believe that he dated me instead of dating somebody his own age because I would tolerate more than a woman his age would. As a 22 year old, found it that difficult to relate to somebody that was in my age. He goes on to say, how are there men who are almost at the age of 30 who find anything attractive about an 18 year old? And earlier he alludes that the way he sees attraction is through, at least in some part, relatability. The majority of men do not see attraction at all congruent with relatability. In fact, the majority of them would rather not, the less they can relate to their partner, the more attractive they can potentially find them. There are men like Yuval, the person who I stitch. They exist. They are an anomaly. They are rare and usually they are very, very intelligent and self-sufficient and emotionally regulated. And yes, these men do tend to date women that are their age or older and can. there's a certain amount of younger that they can't imagine dating. Because again, they are stabilized in their, in their lives and in their minds. They're healthy individuals, healthy members of society. Now, the vast majority of men, and I will go on, I will say that with my full chest, the vast majority of men do not see women as people. And I could write an entire thesis on why this is the case. Now, I don't believe in good or bad people. I believe in conditioning. I believe in social conditioning that leads people down one road versus the other. Now, is that to say that people don't have free agency or shouldn't have accountability or aren't responsible for the decisions that they make? Of course not. Absolutely they are. And a lot of people choose the easy route and just following what they've been taught without any further questioning because it benefits them. 
while others are intelligent enough to take a step back and see the, the greater workings of what's, what's going on. A lot of men do not see women as people. A lot of men resent the lives that women have. A lot of men are jealous of women's reality. A lot of men resent themselves and their own urges and the fact that they can be so easily controlled through these urges. It's a weird feeling to be both envious of someone and, ex and extremely attracted to them. And that's how a lot of men are with women. They gain back a sense of this control through things like being in a relationship with a woman who is much younger than them. Again, I could talk about this forever. Like, I could write a thesis on why this is, but that's that. Okay, let's be real. It doesn't matter whether the man is 18 or if the man is 80, he will still prefer a woman that's 18. That's just how men works. But the question that we should be asking is why do men collectively prefer younger women? Let's talk about it. One of the reasons why men, especially older men, prefer younger women is because they make them feel young again. Not everyone likes the idea of getting old, where you only have memories of your younger days to remind you how it feels like to be young. So the easiest way to make them feel young again is to find someone really young. Another reason why men prefer younger women is because younger women typically don't want commitment, which is perfect for some men who are strangely allergic to commitment. See, when a woman is still so young, she's not thinking of settling down, but of course she still wants to go out and have her fun. So when a man goes out with her, he knows that she doesn't want anything serious. So he knows he can go out and have fun and not take any responsibility. That's pretty much perfect in a man's eyes. Go out and have fun with no strings attached. Another two reasons which is closely linked to each other is how a younger woman makes a man feel wanted or needed. Just as how an older man can have the ultimate control over the younger woman because she is less experienced. You see, because of the fact that younger women has generally lesser experience with every aspect of their life, she has a higher tendency of turning to men who are older than her for advice, to guide her, etc. And men who go for younger women also know this. They know that younger women typically has lesser experience in most part of their lives. They know that younger women are easily impressed as compared to an older one. And they also know that because of the fact of their lack of experience, she is more easily predictable and easier to manage, and in other words, easier to control. What does this all mean? What this all means is that younger women typically are open. They don't want commitment. They look up to older men. They are not overly critical of men. They make men look better. But if you truly study the reason why older men prefer younger women, you realize that it's because younger women feed their ego with the least amount of effort from men. That's all. Oh, you want to know the real reason why older men tend to date women way, way younger than them? Because they're losers. It's that simple. If they offer you another explanation, just say very simply, I disregard your explanation because I think you're a loser. Especially if they're in their late, late 20s or even their 30s and they're dating someone under 23 years old, they're a loser. Okay, and they're like, no, you know, they're so mature for their age. No, they're not. They're not. They might be really mature for their age. You should be even more mature for your age and date someone within three or four years of yourself. Don't be crazy and go dating an 18, 19, 20, 21 year old when you're on the wrong side of 30. Don't do that. You're literally a creep. You're basically taking out your identification and saying, here's my name, my telephone number, my address. I'm a certified loser. Don't be that person. Okay. All it says about yourself is you're not ready to be with someone of your own age because you're internally not mature enough. I don't know why I'm getting angry, but don't be that guy. And for all the people that want to come at me and complain, oh, age gap. I don't have a problem with an age gap once you're at a certain level. Like once you're past 30, an age gap with a 39-year-old or a 50-year-old doesn't matter. That's all good. You're both adults. You're both good. You both lived your life. But let the younger 20 people uh, and the under 20 people live their lives, like separate of you. Don't be the like 45-year-old person that ruined a 19-year-old's life and they're going to talk about forever. Don't be that person. Just be a mature adult. I find it curious that women get so upset about the biological fact that most men prefer women in their younger years, mainly due to fertility, low body count, and just general attraction. When I knew countless women at the age of 19, 20, who dated 30, 35 plus men while they were young, and then all of a sudden they get to be 30, 35, and now all of a sudden they disagree with it saying it's creepy. I find that it's more just an insecurity factor and the fact that they are no longer that young and now they see those women as competition. 
which is sad because in reality, most of my videos are really to teach younger women to choose better in their 20s. If you are in your 30s and still single, that is no reason to hate on the younger generation or hate on the men that prefer them and by calling them creepy or even words that I'm not even going to use here. Innately, I have always known this. My husband is seven plus years older than me and I did that for a reason. And he did that for a reason. At the age of 37 when we met, he knew he wanted a family. He's not going to go find another 37 year old hoping by the grace of God or with fertility treatments that they could have a baby. I'm not hating on women. We just need to understand both sides. Men have every right to choose their preferences just as women do. For example, nobody wants to date a short, broke man. Do women understand why men prefer to date younger women? I thought about this one because I was a younger woman who dated older men. I've been, I've been there, done that. And why do I think they dated me is what I asked myself when you asked this question. Because I was young, I was naive. I looked great. <laughs> I looked amazing. Um, I didn't know a lot. I was just kind of down for whatever. And I think those are key things that you just said. You didn't know a lot. You were impressionable. You were down for it forever because you didn't know no better. And, and, and I think that type of mentality is easier to mold into uh, a wife. Yeah, well, I get that. Like, yeah, I was impressionable. I was young. And, and like, I had boy, like, I had a boyfriend that like wanted to mold me into whatever. And I was like with it. But then I got resentful because I felt like they owned me. If you meet a girl who's... 30 or 40 she's gonna have loads of loads of baggage loads of trauma we don't want to deal with trauma we want someone with less trauma so let's go for someone as young as possible a healthy emotionally stable 22 year old is not usually physically attracted to a 45 year old or even a 40 year old a 22 year old tends to see a 35 year old as an old man yeah but when she starts to blur the line with older men and sexuality, it suggests that there is some childhood trauma potentially regarding her father. Because the reality is if you had a stable father figure in your home, you wouldn't be able to sexualize a man that looks around the same age as your father. Men who have good relationships with their children as well can't sexualize that kind of woman because they've got women, they've got children that age and they know how stupid their children are and they know how naive their daughters are and they know how much they would hate it if somebody their age was dating their daughter. So they have a healthy perception of reality. So if that 22 year old is even dating that 44 year old, you're thinking, oh, less trauma. It's embedded trauma. The trauma exists pre, pre men. So in general, I don't care who people choose to date. I also understand that it's not good to generalize, but my main concern about any form of age gap relationship is whether or not someone is being manipulated or abused in any way. This is usually common in relationships where the man is significantly older than the woman. Some of these men are looking for someone to control and dominate and many of these younger women are so inexperienced that they don't know any better. If she's easily impressed by perceived wealth and material things, then she sets herself up to be controlled by these things. Sometimes these relationships end up with the woman being a stay-at-home mom or a stay-at-home girlfriend, and then children may get involved, and we all know the dangers of that. I just hope that these women are being careful and try to learn from the mistakes of others, because there is nothing worse than waking up 10 years later and realizing that you gave your youth to an undeserving man. As always, thank you so much for watching. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in my next video.